G'day, Alistair here. In this video, I want to talk about codeproject.ai, which you can get from codeproject.com. Uh, download it, install it, and once it's up and running, you'll have a server. And we can see that this one is up and running. And what it is currently doing is object detection in my blue IRS security system. So if we have a look at the settings and go to the AI tab, we see that it's set up and talking to the server. Now what happens is that a camera detects motion or blue IRS detects motion in the camera and then hands uh, a series of images off to the codeproject.ai server and that server then determines what's in those images, such as looking for, a, in particular, a person or a car, a truck, that kind of thing. So, and then you get these detections here. So there's, uh, there it's detected me. And we've got a um, person detection with 93% confidence. So how that's done is we come to our server and we see I've got it configured. Uh, I've disabled. You, you can install lots of plugins or modules. Uh, you can see here. But the one I'm interested in is the object detection. And yes, it's been used a lot. I've restarted it this morning and it's already done uh, 2,300. Um, <laughs> Uh, objects. It's probably, probably, probably about half of that I've been doing um, some benchmarking. So on, on that note, we can test it out. If I go to the Explorer, so with object detection, I can go and oops, choose a file. And I'm going to grab this one, which is quite large and go detect objects, we see it's found uh, lots of people and a whole bunch of potted plants, which looks pretty reasonable. So I'll come across to benchmark and we'll go and choose that same file. And we can see it's sort of peaking at about 13, operations per second, uh, probably averaging uh, 11 or 12. And that is using a really ancient GPU. So if I come back here and look at system info. So the, the CPU is reasonably grunty. You may have watched me install this in a previous video, but the GPU is a AMD Radeon R9 uh, 280, which must be, it's more than 10 years old. It's a pretty old graphics card. And that's, yeah, pretty, pretty well. Now we can come across to this server. This is running on my desktop, the system info. We see it's a, a Ryzen 9 with an RTX 3060 Ti. So uh, significantly faster. Um, the CPU is about twice as fast as the Xeon I've got in my server. And this graphics card, uh, I hate to think how many times faster, uh, probably more than 10 times faster. But in terms of the object detection, the difference is not as significant as you might think. So if we come back to status, we see that I am currently using the CPU. And so if we come and benchmark that same file, We see we get about six operations per, sec per second. So effectively, our ancient graphics card is more than double the performance of my modern CPU. So basically, if you can use a graphics card, definitely take advantage of one. So let's. No, oh, and it's using a different. Yeah, so it's using both, both using the, the .NET. I've I found the .NET detection, object detection faster. So you can swap between them. So I could 
Let's start this one and stop this one. In theory, I would have thought the CUDA would be far faster than if we enable the, enable the GPU. It's using uh, DirectML, so that's the um, machine learning in DirectX. And oops, we see that that's currently uh, restarting. So the this object detection engine only supports CUDA. It doesn't support the Radeon graphics cards, which is why I'm using it oops, on this one, so that we get the, the the graphics card support. So if you yeah, if you don't have a GTX or RTX graphics card from Nvidia you need to use the .NET implementation. And it seems faster anyway, so. Uh... Oh, okay, and we should be with our CPU detection going. Let's just run a benchmark and see. Ten, okay, and the GPU is running. So getting uh, up to 20 um, operations per second, so really only only twice as fast as the ancient graphics card. Uh, and yeah, we could could enable the CUDA, CUDA so I could uh, stop this engine. In fact, why don't I do that? Stop that one and start that one. Which will take a while. I don't necessarily <laughs> force you to sit around and watch, but yeah, my my limited experience on two machines has been uh, to use the .NET implementation. Oh, that's started. So let's see if we can. No, that's using the CPU. This is GPU. That's better. So we're getting eight or nine a second as opposed to the 20 odd we were getting with the .NET implementation. So that's all I wanted to cover. Basically, there's just this configuration for the object detection. Yeah, this is a really, really awesome project. Definitely worth looking at. Um, also, um, so I've, um, here's a, simple application I have written. This is based on DeepStack. Just terminate it. Okay, and I'll run it without debugging. And we can go and grab that same same file. Uh, just that one. And it will go away and send that to the server. And ah, oh, perhaps ah, oh, I've got the wrong port. So let's come back up to still on that server. Yes, that was timing out. Okay. Let's grab the enormous JPEG. And there we go. And there's our person and potted plant. So that was, uh, yeah my code talking to the um, the server. Anyway, um, yeah, download. Certainly if you're running Blue Iris, definitely you definitely want to get into using this um, code project uh, AI server. So thanks for watching. I'm Alistair Christie.